But and here now is we welcome Alina the first Hopanini of our working Finland, best of breeds, the Jejia. Alaskan Malamutes. So we're going to see the breeds come in now. And first off, the Alaskan Malamut. Followed by the Bernese Mountain Dog. Here comes the Bernese Mountain Dog, the distinctive tri-colouring of it, the black, white and tan. Our best of breed, Bouvier de Flandre. The Bouvier de Flandre. And now we have our boxer best of breed. Big cheers for the boxer, Brindlin White Followed Dog. Followed by the Bull Mastiff. The Bull Mastiff. Now we have the Canadian Eskimo Dog. And the Canadian Eskimo Dog coming in now, one of the rarer breeds in the group. Followed by the Doberman. Uh, one of the most popular, always in the big ring here at Crofts, the Doberman. Here we have our Dog de Bordeaux. And the French Mastiff breed, the Dog de Bordeaux, with its low head carriage, which is typical for the breed. And now our German Pinscher. And a competitor from the Netherlands, the German Pinscher. Coming into the ring now, we have our giant schnauzer best of breed. And here is the giant schnauzer, another overseas exhibitor winning here. Such an impressive and breed. And he is followed by the Great Dane. Speaking of which, <laughs> the Great Dane. Now we have our great Swiss mountain dog. One of the four Swiss breeds, the great Swiss mountain dog, another tricolour breed. And our Greenland dog best of breed is next into the ring. And the Greenland dog. Now we have the Hovervart. And here is the German farm dog, the, the Hovervart. Followed by the impressive Leonberger. And that is impressive. Oh, that is impressive. Next into the ring is the Mastiff. And a true heavyweight, this, the Mastiff. Used to be called the Old English Mastiff, but this one's come from Italy to win. And now we have the Neapolitan Mastiff. Now. One we've seen before in the group ring here, the Neapolitan Mastiff. <laughs> now, very nice, Followed good on its feet, very nice moving. And here is another one, the Newfoundland. Topping a big entry today. And now we have the Portuguese From Norway, water dog. we have a best of breed Portuguese water dog. Here's our best of breed, Rottweiler. The winning Rottweiler here, very smart. And now our Russian Black Terrier. And here's the Russian Black Terrier. Strong, impressive, heavily boned. Here's the best of breed, St. Bernard. And the St. Bernard, instantly recognizable all over the world. Followed by the Siberian Husky. The Siberian Husky, one of the, the fastest of the sled dogs. The Tibetan Mastiff, best of breed. And here's another breed which is always impressive with this size and character. And, and this our is beautiful. from the imported register is the Entlebuka Mountain here we have Dog. The Entlebusha mount, uh, um, Mountain Dog, they're representing the imported register, which means breeds that are still establishing the themselves in the UK. Hill. Thank you, Jenny. It's my very great pleasure, along with my colleague Kim Saletto Beal, to commentate on the working group. The first group to be judged on this, the second Now, this day, looks a very good group to me as it came in. Some really beautiful the dogs group coming in. some of the most popular dog breeds. And, and our judge going to take, of course, her first opportunity dogs. to have a good look at them, walk Once the line, looking for those breed Yemen, outlines, how well do they the fit the breed winners. standard, how Let's much do they excite her as individuals, examples of their breed. 
Alina Harpanini used to breed Samoids. Many continents, um, from North America and rock violas, I believe, yes, as well, she's, she's been involved yes. with. There is a real she's diversity a of no nonsense judge, lovely person, groups. knows her dogs, knows breed type and breeds. That Leonberger is really <laughs> impressive, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> Hunting, hauling, and the Neapolitan massive. There's the Leonberger. Just look at that. Work, oh, and a kiss excel. too. <laughs> Almost all of the working dogs are large, strong, and muscular and the, animals, the, and they are very The Tibetan mastiff, very impressive. Many useful tasks. And the Entelbusha now. So, as Alina Hoppenheimi completes the first look at the all 25 best of breed winners, including the best import register, she moves to the first of our working group. Best of breeds, the Alaskan Malamute. The breed was judged today by Mary Dietz. It was an entry so the first dog for our judge to go over is the Alaskan Malamute. His name Mary derives Tyler. from the Malamute the tribes around the Number Norton four, Sound six, in zero, Alaska. A true heavyweight, capable of gruelling work, hauling freight in savage Originated weather. In the United States of America, the Alaskan Malamute was named after the Malamut Inuit Eskimos living And on this the one is a champion not only in the UK Alaska. but also in in, in America. He's coming from Glossop to win North. here. And it's the first American it's Alaskan Malamute to be to become a, a champion here. Now, they're a typical ago. Spitz dog, That's aren't they, Frank? Yes, that means wedge, wedge shaped zero. heads, strong head, small ears. The next, judge, uh, the next dog to be judged today is the Bernese Mountain Dog. They were judged by Head Richards from an entry of 177. Best of breed was this dog. And now the judge going over the Bernese Mountain Dogs. It's one of the, one of the Swiss the breeds. The used to be a general farm dog, but particularly used for haulage. And and it was a, sometimes a cheese factory dog. It used to uh, take the, the cheese to markets and the train in little carts. Used by the weavers of Bern. Tricolour, always the this white bib on the, on the, on the chest. Cattle. White blaze on the head and white on the paws. Wonderful characters. When it was first and this one from the Meadow Park Kennel, which is one of the top kennels in the UK. The Bernese Mountain Dog, best of breed winner, number 4824. Beautiful Bernese Mountain Dog. Next to our working breed, Strongly the boned, the de deep chest. There was an entry of 42, and breed judge Hans Vandenberg awarded best of breed to this bitch, number 4912. The Bouvier de Flandre is a herding dog breed originating We have in the Flandre. Bouvier de Flandre now, selective breeding in, uh, uh, began in Belgium after the war to produce a compact, deep-bodied dog, short-backed, square in outline with that well. strong head accentuated by beard and moustache. The French name for the breed means literally cow herder of Flanders. And this one has French also come from abroad, it's come from, Germ it's come from Germany. During World War I, the French Bouvier army used means the Bouvier cattle as a dog, and it used to be a droving dog. dog. But then it was showed its versatility by being used, used in the security work. in the forces. In the, it was a messenger dog in the uh, World Wars. I love the description of the coat. It should be profuse and unkempt. Next, you can see is the boxer. There were 199 of them today. Best of breed was this dog, number 5015. Our judge, Mr. Keith Jump. Breed specialist must be thrilled with the top entry in the world. And now the group. judge looking at the boxer, winning from a big boxers entry today, over 200 German, boxers Germany's here. A German breed, its origins were in the old German breed of the bull and bison. It was a hunt dog we're used for used hunting wild boar and deer and bear. And deer. Crossed later with an English bulldog, so it's one of the bull breeds. Great Dane that we'll see later in the group. Lovely the quality the in the head, this padded muzzle. Beautiful to brindle colour, this one, isn't it? The they ancestry. should be really energetic on the move boxer. with plenty of stamina. During World War I, boxers were used as pack carriers, messengers, so guard dogs. Firm Mr. top line, he's uh, full of, stamina, a bit full of himself <laughs> here, <laughs> yes, not getting coordinated, yes. Their home and family with their lives. Ladies and gentlemen, Always such a popular boxer, working dog, five, the boxer. Zero, one, five. And now we have the Bull Mastiff. Mr. Alexander Gunn judges an excellent entry. The Bull entry Mastiff. This is the ultimate poacher patrol. Developed by gamekeepers keen to thwart legions of hungry two, two, peasants six, trying to, to steal all their game. The this is a breed that originated here in Great Britain around 1800. 
and was developed. The ancestors of the bull English mastiff are dogs like the bulldog and the bulldog. old English mastiff, a combination of which produced the ne necessary courageous temperament the along with the bulk and size. But look how swift he is on the move. Yes, and apart from being having substance, they also have. have Athleticism, they should be able to jump a five bar gate up to the poacher. In the early days, it was the brindle which was more po popular because it was darker and camouflaged and could give the poachers a nasty shot. We can imagine it would give the poacher a nasty shock to meet that in the dark. Frank Kane was the judge in charge of Canadian Eskimo dogs today. And from his entry of 21. Now, the Canadian Eskimo dog here. Um, so what? An ancient Canadian dog Eskimo of the Canadian dog, Arctic, but the uh, survival of the breed has been uh, difficult. The numbers have dwindled. It, it has to be a mid-sized sled dog, strong head, lovely almond-shaped eyes, athlete, this thick weatherproof built, coat, a plume tail. Uh, this one a very good example of the breed, and uh, I judge the breed today, and this uh, wonderful movement, breed. beautiful head, correct Originated proportions. This breed has been the only means of A real workman-like dog. This would have been hauling sleds, carrying weight across snow and ice in all weathers, and then would curl up without a kennel and sleep outside. And of course, the, the coming of the snowmobiles rather put the breed at risk, and they were, a lot of them perished. were judged today by Tom Johnson from an overall breed entry of 158 from 147 Doberman. Tom awarded best of breed to this dog, number 5356. Full of courage. The Doberman is a tough, Germany intelligent dog, capable of swift agility, and it was eventually recognized by the German Kennel Louis Club Doberman. in 1899. Derived Such a popular dog today. Sometimes called the Doberman Pinscher, the breed's exact ancestry is unknown. Of course, it was originally <laughs> used to help the um, debt collectors and tax Black collectors on their rounds. A wedge shaped head, a German breed. This elegant, often affectionate breed Noted for its square outline. Here are black and tan, they also come in rust and, rust and tan, a brown colour. Square, deep chested, a powerful Doberman, dog all five, three, five, six. through. Moving from Germany to France, next we see the dog de Bordeaux. Only the fourth time with CCs here at and here's the. Judge Today's looking at the dog de Bordeaux, a French Bosch mastiff, Germany, and uh, thought to be related to our bull mastiff. In fact, it's thought that the, our bull mastiff was part of the ancestry of this breed. They come in this rich red colour or fawn, rather lower set than the bull mastiff. Again, wonderful shot of its strong head, neat ears, and of course, a, a peculiar gait. It drops its head on the move. It was bred originally for fighting, but now preserved a companion and a good guard dog. Fantastic guard dog and uh, had something valuable to guard when they were developed in France. First of all, they were used on farms to guard vineyards. And you definitely want to keep, uh, keep the thieves off your grapes, don't you? <laughs> Certainly. Yes. Powerful enough for haulage as well, used for, for hauling carts. Number five, four, eight, seven. Rony Dodines from the Netherlands was the breed judge today for German Pincher. And here we see his best of breed. This is the little German Pincher, middle-sized member of the Pincher family of between the Minpin and the Doberman that we've just seen. Selected Originally a male, vermin hunter, breed, and the five, word Pincher actually nine, means one. to bite or to grip. It's the, the middle size of Pincher. We German have the, uh, we've seen the Doberman. He is a size smaller than standard size. On Sunday in the toy group, we'll see the miniature Pincher. Again, they're all same shape, a wedge-shaped head. It's always surprised me that this one has not become more popular as a household companion, apart from being vermin dogs in their past. And this one typically has come from Germany, very appropriate. But uh, they're easy to, easy to, no grooming, easy to keep clean, and very good in the house. Black and tan, this one, but they can be stag red, fawn, or Isabella as well. Mr. Martin Butler was the breed judge for giant schnauzers today. And from his entry of 52 from 49 exhibits, he awarded best of breed to this dog, 5'6". Now, the four. German Schnauzer, the tallest the of the Schnauzer of the breeds, Schnauzer breeds. The giant being Schnauzer looked at, this strong head. It's Germany a German breed again. And later to Schnauzer means bearded snout, and this is exactly what it's got. 
very well, versatile, a working dog and a tracking dog and used by the forces. In Bavaria, and the judge Wurmberg just looking at its wire century. coat with a dense undercoat. They're very good herders. And of course, this one are black, and we do more usually see giant schnauzers in black, but they can come in pepper and salt like the other varieties yeah. as well. This one's come used efficiently as trackers for the to compete police here, in the military I think, from Italy. Wars. And bred at the famous Stable Masters Kennel in, uh, in Finland. The Russian Bear Schnauzer, or the Munich Schnauzer. That's the best of breed winning Giant Schnauzer number 5624. The Giant Schnauzer. Jeff Hallswell judged Great Danes here at Crufts this year. With an increase Another German in breed, this is great, the Great Dane. His ancestors were heavier days. and were actually hunted in this packs and capable of tracking and bringing down wild boar. Five, seven, but today six, we see five. an altogether more graceful outline with the Great Dane, that gorgeous arch neck. people familiar with the breed first referred neck. to the Great Dane as German boarhounds. Exactly when and why... There has to be the a degree of elegance in the Great Dane. It's substance with elegance. And they should have the... It's called grain. dash and dare. They it's should be, look as though they're ready to go everywhere. And this one is moving out nicely. Truly massive and long in that German head with big, powerful jaws. But as you say, not just elegant, but light the on their feet on the move. I think this one's uh, enjoying a tip as it goes around. But look at that lovely crested <laughs> neck into dogs. shoulder. This That's long great, stride. Five, this lovely, seven, long, six, clean head. Almost the shape of a house brick. Only the third clean, time for clean the great Swiss mountain dog to have classes here at Crufts. This year, the breed was judged by top all-rounder Mr. Frank Kane, and Frank awarded this bitch number 5835. Now another that uh, Frank judged, this is the great Swiss mountain dog, the largest of the Swiss herding another breeds, the sharing Sennahons. the same ancestry Sennahons as the Bernese mountain the dog, and of course those himself. typical tricolour markings. As a herder and a draft dog, similar to the This Bernese was also bred as a earlier. carting dog, could uh, pull small carts and in their native like Switzerland, breeds, they, that its uh, town fates are often the owners the dress up in traditional dress and That's escort the, the carts breed, and the dogs through the town. Makes a marvellous sight. Eight, three, and this particular one came to compete here at Crufts from the Czech the Republic. Breed, Greenland dog. This was another breed judged today by Frank Kane. And from his breed entry, he awarded best of breed to this dog, number 584. And now the Greenland dog. And this is, is again, a very Greenland rare breed now. Only eight of them the here today. Husky. It's a large breed of husky type. They, they they're of husky dog. type. They're a sled dog. Again, this, um, this is an ancient breed. thick Thought double coat to the tail of the... the when they lie down at night in the, um, in the open, they'll curl the tail around it themselves for warmth. Typical spits in make and shape, aren't they? With yes, a, a thick breed. double coat, breed, impenetrable to any weather. Slightly longer than tall and with well that spit wedge of a head, and prick ears. And to and save them from extinction, the Canada has set up a breeding program to keep the, the breed pure. Our best of breed, Greenland dog, 5844. Powerful on the move, the Greenland dog. Stuart Mallard was the designated breed judge for the Hub of Arts here at Crufts, 2019. And from his entry of 66, he found his best of breed... The Hub of Art. Bitch number the five, name means eight, guardian seven, of the home, and the dogs of this type date well back to the 1200s in their native Germany. Medium sized but powerful, back, practical the dogs. Century. This one, a black and tan or black and gold and in beautiful condition. A general farm dog. They could do carting, guarding and as a droving dog. Come also in gold and black and a very well coordinated outfit with the hand to set off the gold markings on the dog. This is the best of breed Hoverbot number five. Very nice balance. This is a very nice one. Effortless ground covering stride. Exactly what you're looking for. Mrs. Leland Poulsen judged the breed today and found her best to breed with this male, number 5926. Now, this one took my eye when it came in. It, it's this wonderful Leon Burger, and it's come from Sweden, where it's a top winner. This is a breed which also hails from Germany. It's thought to have come from a cross between a Newfoundland and a St. Bernard, and has some characteristics of each. If you go to the town of Leon in Germany, the coat of arms and the, the town flag carries the outline of the Leon dog on it. 
lion-like colours, gold with an overlay of black. Just, just looking at the colours and the texture of the coat, this looks a magnificent dog. I hope it's going to move as nicely as it looks. As a symbolic dog. So, oh, this width of the skull and a dark eye. The look of a lion. Impressive all through, massive, through. Tower, massive bone. Body not quite square, powerful, and as a, opposed to heavy. A level, best of breed. level top Berger, line, five, nine, a hallmark of breed balance. And look at that, light on its feet for a dog with so much substance and to it. dog for our group judge, Mrs. Hartonini, to judge is the Mastiff. They were judged today by Robin Newhouse. This Mastiff has come to compete at Crufts from Italy, Robin Award, where he's a champion. Dog, Probably one of our oldest recognised breeds, dating way back to Anglo-Saxon times, when the word Masti meant the powerful. The Mastiff goes right back to the days of the Roman invasions over 2,000 years ago. They were used for baiting Mastiffs bulls and bears, bears originally, and even lions occasionally. So you need impressive Mastiffs size, strong to bone, but also a dog breed. that's powerful and that can move when it needs to. to his height, used to be the called the Old English the Mastiff, and again it was a gamekeeper's dog to ward off poachers. This one a fawn. Again, one of the great um, challenges in breeding these dogs with substances to keep them sound and sound and level on the move. Ladies and gentlemen, our Mastiff best of breed winner. Different head from the Bull Mastiff, more truncated in the muzzle, less padding and a little bit more length in the muzzle. And now Alina Hapaniemi looks over the strong and silent Neapolitan Mastiff. This is the Neapolitan the Mastiff, developed in Italy dog. from the Roman Molossus. The Neapolitan Mastiff was a dog to be found today, fighting for its survival in the gladiatorial arena. And you can see that an awful lot of his opponents probably didn't come off too well. The Neapolitan Mastiff breed of dog is a family and, and guard dog. And it hails back to the Roman Italy. times when it often used to lead today, the, legends in, to the legions giant. into battle, often with a spiked the collar on it to give it an even more ferocious Italy aspect. Now, Naples, breeders have worked hard to rid name. the breed of exaggeration in skin and substance. This one, light on its feet. The, the movement's described as being almost bear-like, isn't it? Bear-like, and again, we'll often get the head dropping, but this is a very good top line. Long stride, freedom with substance there. A powerful dog, you need breadth and depth, but you also need it to be agile and be able to move correctly. Ken ju judges are always aware of the health Sons. initiatives of the Kennel Club and no exaggeration has Linda to be rewarded. It's uh, dog, keeping dogs free from exaggeration. The origins of this lovely breed are obscure. Although probably established now in Newfoundland, its full bears are probably Lovely outline of the bar, Newfoundland here. This was a bred as a water dog the in northwest Canada. The, the ultimate Charles. working dog, versatile, a water retriever. It could bring in fishing nets, water rescue, fishing, carting, and, and then it could guard the, the house in the evening. Weatherproof dog, coat, well quite oily to the touch, big water. barrel chest to give it heart and lung room for swimming and flotation in the and water. Strong to be used as a pack horse. And the enthusiasm so for this wonderful breed means, means we do tend to see fantastic quality well. here at Crafts, don't we? All dogs Big entry have the today. For heroiz heroism, but it seems to be inbred into this naturally strong swimming breed. Deep chested, broad back, but lovely level top line today. should be held on the move. That's the best of breed, winning Newfoundland. Number that six, double two, coat, five, dense, one. flat and water resistant. And this is a and UK victory. We've got a lot of foreign to the United uh, best of breed winners here. This is from Burnham on Crouch. The breed originates from the Algarve region of Portugal. The Portuguese water the dog. Aldera. There's actually a picture of a Portuguese water dog labelled as a water, water spaniel in Topsell's famous tome, A History of Four-Footed Beasties from 1607. That large head, deep body and a tail carried in a ring. If you're a boater, fisherman, or Again, he's a water, very versatile, may be the um, for you. could help fishermen to bring in boats and bring, it, bring in the nets. Again, it's thought that the clip helps them. The hindquarters are clipped. So we've got the clean hindquarters to give propulsive power in the water and the end of the tail is protected from icy water by the plume. 
The mane of hair at the front gives rotation power. Used as a courier carrying messages from boat to boat and from boat to shore. Tail carried in a scimitar-like curve over the back. That's very typical of the breed. Water dog, six two seven zero. The Portuguese water dog. From Portugal, back once again to Germany, and now we see the Rottweiler. Miss and here Edwina is the Johnson Rottweiler. The this is a breed with which our judges are very well uh, accustomed. She used to breed them. This one has travelled to win from Sweden. Rottweilers. Beautiful the outline, the medium size. It was, it was thought it, that it comes from Roman times. It was a Roman drover's dog, and they brought them to the Germany on their, their campaigns remain. in Europe and, and left some at the, um, the, modern the northern town of Droving, Rockweil and, and uh, that's where they were developed. Life. A and black and tan drover's dog, clean lined, athletic, a combination of substance and power. This one going very nicely. And very active. That's the Rockweiler best of breed number 6439. A weatherproof double coat, clean striding, so it's got substance and athleticism. The next to be seen is the Russian Black Terrier. This was another breed judged today by Christopher Habig from Germany. Imposing working dog, this, of massive proportions, almost square in outline. This is the Russian Black Terrier. And tonight, this particular dog has come all the way from Switzerland to compete here. The breed was developed, obviously, in Russia at the Soviet Union's Red Star Army Kennels. In and this, this is a breed which is man-made. It was purposely bred after Giant World Spencer, War II by the Russian Rockwell, Army Breeding Station. They wanted a guard breeds. dog who was um, versatile in lots of terrains, and it was developed to um, track fugitives from the Army. It's sturdy, solid, this protective coat. It's thought that the Airedale and the Rottweiler the and Black the Moscow Terrier, Retriever played a part in the home, development of the breed. The Truly children, massive, 70 centimetres tall, 70 kilos in weight. Imagine getting that in and out of the back of the Russia. car. <laughs> Elastic <laughs> ground Black covering Terrier, movement there, superb. And now we see the St Bernard, judged today by breed specialist Tan Negretcha, who awarded best of breed to this bitch number six. And uh, now we're looking at the St. Bernard, again a, a rescue dog from the Swiss Alps, and uh, you'd be very pleased to see this if you were stranded in heavy snow. Comes back from the, hails back to the 10th century from the Traveller's Hospice, uh, established by St. Bernard de Montan, and he used mastiff, mastiff dogs in the development of the breed. These local dogs with Newfoundland type dogs and Great Danes Produced a strong and the Sabernas has a truly breed, massive head. It's twice as long around as it is as well in length. Carried on that long, muscular neck, well-developed dewlap, wide and deep this body. This is the national dog of Switzerland, and they entered the Swiss stud book in 1884. Heavy bone, level back, should be completely sound on the move. Sabernas best of breed here in Crufts in 1974. Getting a lot of substance. This is the best of breed Sabernas number six. Five, five. Short, Just look at the size of those feet. <laughs> this short square muzzle. And now we move on to the Siberian Husky. This is a beautiful The Siberian breed, Husky. Cone, this one is the, the racing of car of the Husky world with a fox-like head, armoured eyes, those wonderful prick ears, closer set than the other sled dogs, and an arched Siberians. neck gives him a wonderful, proud, today, noble carriage. To this bitch, number six, seven, one, they're six. lightly built. They're the sprinting they're blue, breed, and of course, if you see them working, they're very speedy. Which originated in Siberia. I was once in Finland when I saw a team of them being exported to the Arctic, and they were they tied up in snow and they stayed there all night as a team. A high Amazing yard, pack dogs. So they sunk into the ground to prevent escapes. Our best of breed Siberian Husky. Six, the seven, Siberian one, six. Husky.
And the next dog we see is the Tibetan now, Mastiff. Here, here is another today by Mr. impressive Keith dog, the Tibetan the Mastiff. It's thought that this is the father of the Mastiff breeds and one of the world's most there. ancient breeds. They were often used to uh, be dog breed, uh, tethered at the um, ago, gate Tibet. of a farmhouse to Originally guard it. Used as a guard dog for livestock, Strong-headed, this mane of hair nose. over the shoulders, the tail carried over the back, the judge just looking at its proportions. They were highly prized. It's density by the of coat. In and the coat Asia. is much more profuse Syria, in males than Arabia. it is in females, isn't it, in this yeah, breed? Yeah. Not, they like there to be a good in distinction. This one's come the from Hungary to compete, a real quality to dog. And given to Queen Victoria as Again, a this, gift this from black Lord and gold, they also the come in um, pure gold as well. Easy going. Some shading Broad in the, in the head, aren't they? Massive. Is content to be one of but again, this one can really move. It's getting its hocks underneath it and driving along. and territory. That's the best of breed, Tibetan Mastiff number 6810. And now we come to the final breed here in the working group, and it's from the import register classes. These and classes this is the Enkelbusha Mountain Dog, and it's come from the import register. It's a breed which are not having championship status in this country yet, and they're in a developmental stage. Several breeds in it, and this one's competed with all of them and won today. Again, it shares the same tricolour coat pattern on the other Swiss breeds. Dense coated, smaller. Again, it could be a, more of a droving or herding dog rather than a carting dog. A general farm dog. Outgoing and friendly. Make a good household companion. The Entelbuka was first noticed it's as a separate breed in 1889 although it was often confused with the... So Adam taking Zeller that uh, up until the beginning opportunity the to show a rarer breed on the, car on the green the carpet, the Entlebusha Mountain Dog. dog. Six, eight, five, nine. And our judge now taking another so, look before she's going to decide who's going to be in her final cup from our working group. At Crufts 2019. Our judge, Alina Harpanimi, will now take a last look at the group in its entirety before making a short list of finalists. And uh, just reminding herself of the details she found on hands-on examination. It seems a quality group tonight, I, doesn't it, Frank? I think there's some, some very nice dogs. Best of breed winners. The Great Danes outline, beautiful there. So is our judge, Alina Hapanyemi. Very good hove of art. And the beautiful Leon Berger. Best of breed winners here in the working group. Perhaps and she looks happy with them. She She's does, uh, doesn't she? That's a lovely thing to see. A judge who's walking around going, goodness me, how do I sort out? There are so many good dogs here. But she's only allowed to pick a few. So there was a, an entry of 2,600. So walking back to the head of the line, she'll start to make her Maybe cut. Working route at Crufts this year. Very purposeful. As Alina goes to the front of the line, she the pulls Bernie's out The Mountain Dog. That beautiful the boxer. boxer. And there's the boxer coming in now. The Doberman. And the Doberman. The giant schnauzer comes forward. And the Leon Berger. Yes. <laughs> You're delighted about that. impressive dog. And the Newfoundland. The, Leon the Newfoundland. And the Portuguese, Portuguese water dog. Water dog. And the Russian black the is Russian coming black in. Terrier. I think that concludes our shortlist. And so as our other yes, that's her shortlist. Leave a ring. Can I ask you again to show your Eight appreciation dogs and from this quality on working here group? At 2019. Bernese, Boxer, Doberman, the Russian black terrier, the Leon Berger, the Newfoundland, and, as our eight and the Portuguese water dog and the Russian. Now, so we're going to get a lovely chance to see these again. super dogs move again. Let's give them a very warm... Starting with Milo, the Bernese the Mountain Dog from the Meadow Park the Kennel, Mountain Meadow Park Dog. High Class, is a champion. Sent through to the group by Mr. Head Richards. <laughs> a playful champion yes. who'd rather eat Great his leads than here. concentrate on the job in hand. Top winner in the breed for the last couple of years, but... Uh, so these show dogs are clowns. Enjoying the, uh, the big ring here. Lovely to see a dog of such experience still and, able to muck about. And the, yes, and the judge is sending him again, and the handler trying to get him into his coordinated stride. 
She obviously likes him. And she's giving him a second chance to move beautifully, you know, which he's cooperating. It's no handicap for a dog to show its happiness in the ring. It just shows that dogs enjoy it and are not phased by it. And uh, she's second, sending, oh, she's sending him round the ring now to see his around. profile movement and top line. He beat 170. He's got a glint in his eye again. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's got his eye on that rosette. <laughs> And he's enjoying every moment. So here we've got Dave, the boxer. Also a champion, beautiful, boxer. bright brindle. Is it the judge is moving the dog away from her and then towards her to start with to look at how parallel and strong and powerful that front and rear movement is. And then they're going round so she can look at the profile. One entry of 210 this is a dog who has a great ring presence. He really carries himself well, which uh, Catches the Number judge's five, eye, five, is zero, strong, five. top line, That's slightly best sloping, good five, reach zero, in front one, and five. drive. And now taking a last look at the Doberman. This is Billy, five years old. No, Both a champion in the, uh, the UK and in Ireland as well. Group by Mr. Tom Johnson. From Again, it's a, a, a breed which is uh, almost is square in its outline, five, three, five, deep bodied, six. this wedge shaped head, firm muscular condition. They have such clean lines, Dobermans, don't they? Uh, and it's important that that top line which they have when they're standing is maintained on the move. That shows that they're well constructed and balanced. I think there's something in the air tonight. Yes, <laughs> and they're really striding out nicely. Five, three, clean five, cut six. outline. The giant schnauzer. By Alina Hapanyemi is the giant schnauzer. Five, six, this is Faze. Sent forward into the group ring by Famous Mr. Martin kennel, Butler. The stable master's kennel. This year. It's important that they have a crisp top coat. It's important that the hardness of coat is carried all over the body and down the legs. And that giant they have best of breed. good depth of chest Sent and four chest Martin and Butler. substance Five, in the six, breed. Two, four. Versatile working breed. And the next dog we'll see in this short list is the Leonberger. And this is Marvin, Sent the Leonberger, six years Mrs. old. From Such an oh, impressive sorry, 114 looking dog. Leonbergers. This is the best of breed winner, number 5926. And from And there he goes. Come from Malmo in Sweden to compete. There's the clean outline, the substance of the Newfoundland. And this is four year old Brandon. Degree. Newfoundland. Imported from the United States. Newfoundland, judged today. He's a champion here. Eight challenge certificates to his name and best of breed at Crufts. And she was, Mr. Susan selected this male, number 6251 as best of breed. <laughs> Happy wagging tail. Well, Julie Sheridan said he's really outgoing, a proper showman in the yeah, ring, enjoys his, his time and all good show Bannon. dogs recognise the difference Six, two, somehow five, between one. a breed ring and a group ring, and, don't they? And they this she's taking it exactly the right pace, is in a nice coordinated stride and holding his top line. The Portuguese the water dog, dog this is Cami, four dog. years old. They've come from Norway. He was a world winner. This bitch, number six for last year, for 2018. Yes. Winning that in uh, Leipzig in Germany. And remember that trim was for function. For him diving into the water to enable his rear legs. Tail carriage carried to over the back. Hindered by coat. That's the Portuguese Described as a real happy-go-lucky family seven, member, zero. this one. Now, the last of our final eight, the Russian Black Terrier. This is Cece, three years old. Black Terrier, 
come from Switzerland to compete. Christopher Habig from Germany. And no. Apparently she's a real diva, this one. Was sent <laughs> forward into the group ring. The Russian Black Terrier, 6496. Strong head and foreface in this uh, Very soon, weatherproof we'll coat. Which of these finalists will emerge triumphant now. to win the Taking her the place at the end of the line. Across 2019. There were 2,412 and Alina Harpanini just taking working dogs entered here one today. more look. Boards coming out. So we're going to get our second group winner for 2019. Of course, the Irish Water Spaniel won the Gun Dog Group last so night, who's going to be the second the of our seven Alina Sunday Harpenini finalists. She's She's the ring. Looking hard at the Newfoundland and the Leon Berger side by side. The Concentration. So is the, winner. the boards the are already out. Crufts, Where's she is. striding? The, the group boxer. goes to the, the boxer. boxer. A fantastic win for Dave. With Mitch Griffiths. And working group two is. Group two is going to go to the Bernie's <laughs> oh, the Mountain Bernie's Dog. Dog. <laughs> He's even happier now. <laughs> to be honest with you, I think it's a bit of a white knuckle ride this evening <laughs> for this handler. She's <laughs> he's got a sleeve. And working group three is <laughs> wonderful, wonderful temperament in the dog, full of spirit. Oh, the yes, giant, giant schnauzer, schnauzer takes group three. Five, six, two, four. There's an that's an overseas uh, dog. And working group four is oh. Group it, four goes the to the Portuguese water, water dog. dog. Right. So. There you are. So is our judge, Elena Hapanyemi, congratulates the other four from Norway. They've triumphed to show your in the group here at Crufts. Here at but Crufts. there's our winner, Dave the Boxer. Beautiful shot of his head. Winners, Getting half a pound of cheese there, right. <laughs> Top, uh, top dog in the Boston. breed. Coming from, comes from Banbury in Oxfordshire. To, give an, to do the um, presentations. Jack and again, is a member of the European completely Parliament. confident in this environment. Presents the trophies to our winners of the working group. Congratulations evening. and trophies coming out. <laughs> Dave. Lovely. Dave's earned his keep so today. Winning, winning the working group at Crafts. Can you tell me what the view is like from cloud nine? Good. <laughs> Very good. And have you come far today? Did you set off early this morning? Uh, we set off early, but we've just come from Banbury. Brilliant. So not, not too far to go home this evening. And what will you do for the next couple of days as you wait for the best in show? Work. <laughs> <laughs> and what's the name of your dog? Dave. Dave. Dave the Boxer. <laughs> <laughs>